Hey viewers, I'm Saroj Alam but from 7th Explorers and I'm Hami Javid from 7th Explorers and we are very much proud to be the students of Aishwarya Academy and we're here to present today's episode of our talk show. Hami, as we all know that communication is the only key to comprehend any sort of knowledge in and around the world and we humans are blessed with this skill like how of how we communicate with each other by resorting to different languages. Hey Hami, do you know that there are so many languages that use different patterns of languages? Yes, of course I know. Really? Can you please explain like what are they? I'm talking about computers and the language they deal with. Okay. So now let's talk about different types of computer software and languages. So viewers, let me share some fraction of knowledge with you that computers have become an integral part of our life. And the advancement in the software technology is directly linked to the advancement in the software and computer programming languages. How many do you know that these software computer programming languages, they just happen in different states called as generations of the computer languages. Could you please tell me a bit about them? Sure, sir. So as we already know that in order to communicate with each other, we need to know a language like Hindi, English, Tamil, etc. However, a computer cannot understand these languages. We need to communicate with a computer in a language that a computer can understand. So, Sarush, could you please tell me about the languages that a computer can understand? Yeah, sure. The languages that a computer can understand are divided into four categories. First, we have low-level languages. But as we all know, the computer understands only one language and that is binary language, which is in the form of zeros and ones. It means that whatever you're doing on your computer system, like whenever you're programming there, so everything there needs to be first converted in the form of zeros and ones, and this is how you communicate with the computer system. So Saroj, now let me tell you something about the machine language or the first generation language. Yes. So machine language is the most basic and the lowest level of computer languages. So this language was programmed, this was the first language that was programmed and developed and used in computers. And it's the only language that a computer can understand. And instructions in any other language, they first converted into machine language so that the computer can understand it. And that's the reason machine language programs are executed very quickly. So Saroj, are machine language and assembly language the same? Yes, if we talk about the assembly language, so assembly language is having the same set of commands and the, and the same structure as that of the assembly language. But its feature is that it enables the user to use different commands, uh, to use different names and different commands instead of zeros and ones. And every computer is having its own assembly language. Uh, so assembly language written for one type of computer will not work on the other. Okay, Saroj. Now let me tell you something about the high level languages or the third generation languages. So, Saroj, do you know that low level languages were computer specific? What means is computer specific? It means that a particular type of low-level language was designed for a particular type of computer and it couldn't run on any other computer. So there was a need to develop a language which could run on any type of computer. So accordingly, high-level languages were developed. For example, if we talk about the way we are talking to each other and communicating with each yes. other, it's an example of high-level language. So these high-level languages, they're closer to human languages and they're easy to read and write. The first high-level language was designed in 1950s and some popular high-level languages are C, C++, formula translation, etc. And now let's talk about the different types uh, and about a bit about the fourth generation computer languages. These are used to develop softwares and they are very complex programming languages. If we talk about examples there, we have Fox Pro, Stata, Oracle and Visual Basic. How many, you know, I've heard a lot about the artificial intelligence, about robots. Are they somehow related to the artificial intelligence? And nowadays, we are mostly using the chat GPT. So is that an application of this? So Saroj, let me tell you something about the artificial intelligence languages or the fifth generation languages. So yes. see, these are the languages that are being worked upon. These languages are still at experimental stage. Are they still at the experimental stage like yes. now? They are still at experimental stage and they are aimed for future progress. Once programmed, these languages would make the computer solve a problem without a programmer in the future. So, as you already mentioned about robots, they are, they are the best examples of systems running with artificial intelligence. And some of the popular languages that are being worked upon are Prolog, Mercury and OPS5. And if you talk about ChatGPT, it's, uh, it's the best example of AI 
and uh, nowadays it has become the talk of the town. Yes, it has. So, worse, in the dynamic world of software languages, every code of line is a step towards innovation. Okay, viewers, this was all about the different types of computer software and languages as the curtains draw to a close on the episode of today's show, talk show. We hope that you liked it and may your code be bug free and your creativity boundless. Thank, Thank you. you.